Hey guys, Happy New Year everyone! I recently made a video about my moving process. Check out my channel for that video. Um, but I also realized I have a lot of uh, recordings from uh, 2023 that I never got to use in any videos. I, I struggled a lot with making videos last year. Um, I wasn't really in the right headspace. I struggled a lot with editing um, and it was just a hard year for me but i recently found all the footage when i was looking for some other stuff and i just figured you know why not make a video about it now so here it is uh moments from 2023 that you didn't get to see and that i really really appreciate it first thing is the new apartment the apartment in oslo that we uh moved into in december of 2022 the start of 2023 was all about the new apartment. I loved this apartment. It was just a very, very small apartment, but everything was completely new. So it was this um, small living room, kitchen area. I had a work desk in the bedroom. Really nice little space. And of course it was a nice bathroom and I was so happy about this apartment uh, it was kind of a special thing for me because this area in Oslo is um, to be honest is quite a, a posh area it's a bit snobby it's completely new the whole neighborhood is completely new it's by the opera and the monk museum and it's smack in the middle of the center all the apartments is of course extremely expensive uh, i would never think that i would ever have the opportunity to live in such a place and uh, i must say the year that i got to live there was uh, it was a good year i'm definitely gonna miss that apartment and i'm very appreciative of you know the the time i got to i got to live there probably the only time in my life i will ever get to live there another really exciting uh experience we did uh was dining I'm not a very um, foodie person. I have an eating disorder. <laughs> Food is complicated for me. But when we got an invitation to eat at Rest, um, I we had to take it. Uh, we know the, the head chef at this place. It's a really, really fancy place. It's fine dining. So the concept is really simple. It's basically all the food they make is made from leftovers and what they can do with this food these leftovers is amazing and i just I, I love the concept and when jimmy invited us to come eat there i mean we couldn't really say no and the thing is <laughs> i i prefer vegan food i am mostly vegan i can do a vegetarian if it's if it's hard to get a hold of vegan alternatives but that's like where my my limit is um so obviously we we told this to the chef that I'm I'm vegan and they actually made a 20 course experience vegan for me. They'd never done it before. They did it especially for me, which is unbelievable. I mean, 20 courses fine dining vegan. It is amazing. The food was awesome. I mean, when you're going to go dining at, the, at a place like this, obviously it is like fine dining, it is art, it is food art. And you can see that from this food, it is really, really high class food.
would really recommend this restaurant. If you are ever in Oslo, go visit Rest. It is awesome. And also, as you may know, we have, well, I have my in-laws in a very tiny place, uh, a bit of like southwest in, the, in Norway called Sirdal. Um, my boyfriend's parents live there. He also grew up there. Um, we go to visit them whenever we can. My, my father-in-law was a biologist and he studied uh, biology in um, bats and insects and something uh, in Tanzania and in more African countries uh, um, back in the day. And this one time, uh, uh, we went rummaging for, I don't know what we were looking for at all, but we found these these huge bags in the attic or something. And it turns out that he, these were samples, jars uh, with medical samples on formaldehyde. It was all kinds of amazing stuff. So obviously there were bats, he started bats a lot, so there were bats. And bat fetuses in all kinds of stages. Some parasites. some beetles of some sort. Uh, a couple of scorpions. And even a bird. Some kind of bird. I have no idea what kind of bird. I'm a kind of a nerd like this i like i i love that kind of stuff like medical samples and stuff like you know, you'll see you'll see later in this video but i got to take some of it home he was like he didn't even remember what it was he was like oh this is from you know years years ago and he was like feel free to take anything home if you would like to and obviously i did so i got to take some of them home they're actually placed in the uh, shelf behind me here uh, and I'm very very happy about it I, I feel very lucky I, I just love it I just think it's so awesome most of you guys just probably think it's totally gross I don't know but whatever I love it I think it's awesome I found some footage also from uh, a day where me and my friend Lina we were at the botanical gardens in Oslo and I've been there before several times it was just this particular day was very very beautiful was so awesome weather we were there uh with my dog kyla and we just walked around uh for many hours and just enjoyed uh the botanical garden It is really an underrated place. <laughs> I should really go there more often when I'm in Oslo, and especially in the summer. It is really beautiful and it was just one of those gorgeous, gorgeous days um, that I will not forget for a long time. And of course, some of the most memorable moments from the whole year. I mean, it's always, it's obvious for me, it's the animals. Like, I love animals. I'm a total nerd when it comes to animals. Like I'm, I'm a kid. If if I ever like meet a cat or a dog or a cow, like I'm a total, I'm a total kid. 
We visited this farm in Tonsta where they actually had lambs and I just love them. They're so adorable. And when we got there at first, they were really, really scared, especially because I had Kyla, my, my little dog, even though she's really tiny, they were of course really shy at first. They just, you know, peeked out and, and went back in like right away and was just, they were really curious, but really skittish and scared. But after a while, they came out and I could pet them and I just, uh, I just, I kind of died a little bit inside. I just loved them so much. And especially this one really, really cute lamb. He just, I just think he really loved getting petted because he was like, he just lay down uh, by the fence there and it just, he looked so peaceful and the guy next to him just fell asleep. And the, I mean, they were so adorable, so cute. I didn't want to leave. I just wanted to stay there and just cuddle them forever. They're so awesome. And speaking of animals, this other this other time, I was uh, at my parents' uh, cabin, summer house thingy, uh, with my friend Lena. We were uh, having a, just a walk um, by the road and suddenly Lena was like, what is that? And it turns out it was a teeny tiny little mouse. And he didn't seem to mind that we were there. He wasn't scared or anything. And at first we thought like, okay, is he, is he blind or deaf or something? Cause he like, he did not react to us being there at all. But it turns out like he, he just didn't care. We could even pet him and he did not react at all. It was crazy. I have never ever seen a wild mouse react like that in nature. I mean, he was not scared of us and he was not scared of Kyla. Actually, I think Kyla was more scared of him, the little mouse, than it was scared of her, which is crazy. And we could pick him up and pet him and he was just so calm and the most, adorable cute little mouse ever and i just i really 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 wanted to take him home and just <laughs> just keep him forever um i didn't do that we, we let him go after uh but we were we were stunned because I, I mean neither of us had ever seen a mouse a wild mouse uh, act like that before was so cute and so adorable and so tiny and yeah we just um, loved it such an awesome experience and of course the cows because sometimes there are cows over there this is the same place and uh, I love these cows uh, white really beautiful cows and this time when we were standing there by the fence we just call, kept calling them and they actually came uh, they actually came and and you know, came up to us by the fence and they were a little skittish, a little bit uh, skeptical and we didn't really get to pet them, but we definitely got to say hi and, and just um, scratch his, his nose a little bit. It was awesome. And the next thing is London, because I actually went on a, a trip abroad this year. Um, I haven't been abroad for of since before covid actually so it was really really nice to actually be able to travel a little bit so um me my boyfriend and his daughter we went on a little trip to london it was uh just like um 
a few days uh, to see a concert and obviously we walked around a bit. We've all been to London before so we tried to see some spots that we hadn't seen before. So we visited some cute neighborhoods and the coolest thing, well actually two things. We saw two museums over there that I will never forget. The first one is called the Hunterian Museum. It is uh, pretty new actually. It, uh, it reopened uh, in 2023 in May or something, I believe. And this is the coolest thing. I mean, obviously you'll understand why I love this. This Hunterian Museum is a museum of like medical specimens and they have like, I think it was more than 2000 specimens from both humans and animals of all kind of state all kinds of stages of life and they had um all kinds of um like pathology stuff and oh my god i just love this so much it was so awesome and since the museum is totally new they it was so professionally uh, and nicely done like it was yeah just if you're ever in London, just go see the Hunterian Museum. If you're into this stuff, you'll love it. It was awesome. It is probably one of my top museums uh, ever because I just totally geeked out. <laughs> And the second one was uh, even weirder, if you can believe it. It was this really, really tiny place. Uh, first uh, floor is a bar and the basement is uh, kind of, well, a museum. And it's called the Victor Wind Museum of Curiosities and Unnatural History. And it's this guy, apparently just this Victor Wind guy who just, He's a collector and uh, obviously kind of a weird guy who just like goes all over the world and collects all kinds of really, 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 really weird stuff. And he just co just collects them and put them in this museum and is, is really cramped, is really um, special. It's special. So if you're into curiosities and unnatural history, uh, this is probably the place for you. It was, it was fun. It was definitely worth seeing. So if you're into that stuff, uh, yeah, just go see. It was it was weird, and of course all the cafe visits. It might sound a bit boring, but I love going to cafes and just sit at a nice place and have a cup of coffee and do the people watching, and especially when I get to bring my dog Kyla. Is <laughs> asleep <laughs> right here, um, and not every place is dog friendly. And I wish more places were dog friendly, to be honest. I love being able to bring her with me. She is the most perfect cafe dog you'll ever meet. She's tiny, she doesn't shed, and she's quiet. She, yeah, and she's the cutest in the world, of course. So, but yeah, I love the places where I'm able to bring her, especially the places in the winter where I get to bring her inside.
she's really my kind of my emotional support animal. I don't really like to go anywhere without her. I wish for more dog friendly places. Dog friendly, yes please. Obviously I have moved back here to Venice now. Uh, to the south of Norway. I no longer have my Oslo apartment and I have no idea what's gonna happen uh, from here on out. I really hope that the next year or this year will be better for me in terms of video making. I have some ideas and I, I, really, I really want to be able to make some more videos. So I wanna thank all you guys for your support in 2023. All you guys who are supporting this channel, subscribing and liking my video videos, it means a lot to me. And I hope you will continue to hang out with me in this year. And uh, hopefully I will see you around. Check out my social media channels and um, thank you guys so much for watching this and watching my other videos. It means a lot to me. So, well, I'll see you guys again in my next one. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.